my name is Sophie Zhu. I am a college student in the United States. I go by she, her, hers pronouns, and I am Chinese and Thai American. I come from Flushing, New York, which is the largest Chinatown in the entire country. I remember that I made a lot of friends who were Chinese immigrants or international students, even at my university, who showed so many different cultural behaviors or displayed culture shocks because they found their their home is China. So they, they're not Asian American, but they love to study in the United States. And that's why I was able to see this language as a way to communicate with them because we liked to communicate in both ways. I found that they were often much more insecure when communicating in English, whereas somebody doesn't have this openness. They will never get to meet people with such different paths of life. And you get to open your eyes to that and you get to see, you get to be grateful for what you have. And that's why I learned to be grateful, very grateful for what I have and how I can use that to my own advantage to impact the people and communities around me. And this is another reason why I love Go East, right? Because you all, you all are so patient, so understanding, and you actually are very interactive in the structured lessons. I know my teacher and my peers have been very supportive. My teacher has helped correct me in my pronunciation, and that is and in my grammar and in how I use words and has directly for, and compelled me, compelled me to engage in conversations where I can test my use of Chinese and where my flaws are and see where my flaws are. Again, I have a teacher who is very thorough. I have a very thorough and diligent teacher. And that is very important. You need thoroughness. You don't need a teacher who is just going to sit by there and just say, blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's just go through the lecture. No, I don't need to hear a lecture. I need to be directly corrected. And that's what my teacher, teacher does an amazing job at. And she's very detailed. She always pastes the conversations that are typed up by herself into the chat or into my, and she sends them to me in some way. And I always review the conversations that we had so I can learn new vocabulary and start to reprogram my mind more and more. And uh, also, other great behaviors she has are that she always encourages to hear from every student. She encourages all of us to speak up. You know, there's always power in what everybody says, and everybody deserves the chance to be heard. She also is, I know I've said that she's thorough many times. I just think that her way of teaching is special because she is live correcting you. She's not just give, throwing an essay that is corrected back to you. She's correcting you as you go along the way. And as you go along the way, she can point out new vocabulary for you to use or new sentence structures for you to use and write them out. And then you use them directly. And then you get those structures to keep because something students never learn is that they need to get familiar practicing. Your whole worldview, you become a different person with this language instruction. You become so challenged and you learn so much about yourself philosophically. You also start to question your purposes and how different cultures go about thinking about daily mundane routines of life. And I always love to do things hands-on and Skritter keeps you going because I personally have a short attention span sometimes and Skritter allows you to write out and trace out all the characters, see your mistakes and redo, retrace the characters however many times you want and also practice your own pinging over time.